But the key thing is that the people are there. So you, you want to be there at some, in some way, shape, or form. It could be, personally, I like Facebook because it's a blend of my personal life and my business, because I don't have a line. Uh, and I kind of got into a place, I kept working with questions like, what do I really love to do? What really excites me? What, what really is my passion? And I've been fortunate that the work that I do today is my passion. I do it regardless. So I don't have a life. I don't have a, a work. I have, here's me. This is me working, this is me not working. I don't know, pick one. Uh, it's very blended for me. And I'm very fortunate that I can do that. The downside of that is I don't have any, it's all together. It's just one big mishigas of stuff. You know. uh, but I, it works for me. So where do you start? Everything that I write about, everything I talk about, I'm really big on having goals, having a vision. You don't just run into Facebook and start setting up a profile or a business page or run out to LinkedIn or something else. Stop and think about why, why are you even doing what you're doing? Why do you even have a business? Where do you want to go with this? Uh, there are a lot of levels of small business. I've been doing small business seminars for some 15 years or so. You can have a, a, a small business and you're very happy running whatever kind of store, whatever kind of business it is. Or you, know, you can have a computer store in Doylestown or you can have three computer stores like Jim and Judy. You can have a hairstyling place, or you can become Vidal Sassoon. You can have a pizza shop, or you can become Domino's or, or Papa John's. That all, to me, that starts with this. It's what Stephen Covey said, begin with the end in mind. Why, what do you want to do it for? <coughs> What's the payday? How do you know when you've achieved what you want to achieve? How are you keeping score? Do you want to build something as a legacy? Do you want to do something because you're driven to do it? I mean, I have to do what I do. I'm, I'm absolutely driven to do it. I started writing, and 1991, I had no intention of making money from it. I was just writing a newsletter because it was fun. And that became Handbook to a Happier Life, which went on and sold all over the world and went on from there. And it was just something I did because I have this need to give back. I have this need to share what I've helped. I've used in my own life that's helped me because my life at one time was at the bottom. I don't have to go into great detail on that, but it was all the way down on welfare and food stamps and homeless and cars and living in cars and all that cool stuff. And I learned certain principles that would enable me to, to make big changes in my life uh, beyond just getting kind of back on an even keel to where my books are all over the world. I've touched the lives of a million people around the world. And it blows my mind because I'm just this kid from Staten Island I tried to throw out of high school. Uh, they almost succeeded. So let's talk about what, let's take a, what I want to do is take a whole picture of succeeding online. How many people here have a website? <coughs> The other, the people that have a business that you got, well, you got a, you got a bouncing one. No, I'm building one. You're so building I don't one. Have it yet. Okay. Bloggers, any blogs here? Joe's got it all. <laughs> Bloggers. Okay. How often do you blog? Uh, not enough. Notice the response. <laughs> Starts out with, oh, <laughs> one more thing to do. It goes against all my advice to my clients to do it consistently. So. Exactly what you're not supposed to do. It's tricky. It's very, you know, we're all busy people. Blogging is one more thing. Any podcasters here? <coughs> How about video podcasts? I started out a month and a half ago. I wrote down this whole plan when this, this book just came out. This is my brand new Fallen Old Person Movement to Your Body. This young lady sitting over here with this beautiful cover. Is that gorgeous or what? Genevieve LeBeau Cotterton, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely. But the book it does half as well as the cover. I'm in good shape. Okay, people like the book half as much as they like the cover. So I said, okay, I've got, I've got a whole plan here. I'm going to be blogging on here, and I'm going to podcast every Tuesday. So I recorded three or four podcasts, uploaded them to a server. And I have a plug into my blog. So Tuesday comes along, and I plug in the data for the podcast, and I put the link in there, and I publish it. And boom, it's out there. It's in iTunes. Everything's cool. The next Tuesday comes along. The third Tuesday. I'm rocking. The fourth Tuesday comes along. Now I got no more recording, right? That was a month ago. Because <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to, okay, stop now and record some new. And I'm only doing three minutes. But it's the, the podcast, it's the blog, YouTube videos. Anybody doing YouTube videos? There we go. Can I ask what you're doing? Me? Yeah. I have a networking group. Okay. What group? Network now. Okay. Because you seem really to be on top of this stuff. Are you doing you doing YouTube videos on a regular basis? No, not on a regular basis. Okay. I have anniversary parties, speeches, things like that. That's uh -huh. Is it working for you? Is it bringing you what you want? Well, I'm 
My website brings a lot of people more than the video. Okay. I'm, I'm curious about that because I have some videos on YouTube and they, you know, one has 22 views, the other one has 1,500. I don't know. It's, it's a very iffy kind of thing and how people are finding me and having a clue. Uh, excuse me, your videos, uh, are they through YouTube? Um, well, because I'm, I'm making some videos but I haven't figured out the next step really. Okay. I'll talk, I'll get, I don't know if you're going to cover that sort of thing. Yeah, I am. Oh. Simply, I upload, I have the videos. Yep. And I'll take a clip of something we're doing tonight. I'll take a couple of short clips of that, upload them to YouTube. I use I use an in-between aggregator called TubeMogul, T-U-B-E-M-O-G-U-L for anybody who's doing it. And what it allows you to do is you can go into TubeMogul and you can set up profiles at YouTube, at Viddler, at MySpace, a whole bunch of video options out there. There's actually about 50 of them. YouTube only deals with five or six. You set up a profile there. You upload the video to YouTube, to TubeMogul, and you push the go button, and it puts it on all the other websites for you. It's a shortcut. There's another site called Traffic Geyser, which a friend of mine developed that will upload it to 50 or so websites all at the same time. There's a whole bunch of other bells and whistles. That's a subscription site. If you're doing a lot of video, it's almost essential. I, I use I use a, a screen flow to actually edit edit the video, right. and then so I just take the output of that and go through two more. Yeah, yeah. You take your file, whatever you have as a finished MP4 yeah, yeah. and MPEG or whatever it is. Yeah, right. Because the problem with video, if you put it, every time you put upload a video, you've got a 15, 20 minute job putting in the keywords, putting in the title, the description, da 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 da. da, da. So two more will take care of. I have it set up to do Viddler, YouTube. Google Video, MySpace, and something else I don't remember. I mean, the big ones are, are YouTube. There is one if you're doing business videos. Are you doing business videos? Yeah. Uh, eCorpTV.com. It's a local guy. He's a friend of a friend. Rob something. Uh, eCorpTV.com. He has about 30,000 videos up there, but they're all screened before they go up. So it's not, it's, it's, they're, they're positioning it as YouTube for business. It's purely business, there's no you know, dancing monkeys, they don't have the cat playing the piano, nor the cat, anybody see nor the cat on YouTube? Cat got ASPCA Cat of the Year Award. Cat plays, it's a, it was a stray cat, it plays the piano. It's had five million views on YouTube. I should have this kind of look. <laughs> Hire the cat. Here's the problem. If I took the time to go to 95% of the websites for local businesses, and I know this because I did it, I had the virtual assistant go to the Chamber of Commerce, no, no offense to the Central Bucks Chamber, I don't see any Chamber people here working. I went to the Central Bucks Chamber of Commerce website, pulled up restaurants, and I had her pull up every restaurant, and if they didn't have a landing page, I sent them a letter. There were only two or three restaurants that had it. This is where everybody's leaving money on the table. If you have a website, and you are not capturing visitors, you're leaving money on the table. 